Hello everybody, hope you've all had a terrific day, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. This is Norwood Hitchhike. So this is the second episode to what looks like it's going to be a five episode game. So, let's get straight into it. If you haven't already, go back and watch the first one. It's not in any particular order, I think they're separate. But, go back and watch it, and then come back to watch this one. Episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creepy I, out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. So, these are true stories then. I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get a chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents wouldn't allow thrills. Weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to the interstate driveways. Am I reading? Again? Yep. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realised the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. I was a little over 12 hour drive. Oh god. 12 hours in one day. Oh! Oh, we get to drive! Press a W to accelerate. Nope. Let's go on this side. I'm English, after all. I'm English. <laughs> so, I'm not going to read a text message because you shouldn't text while driving. It's a bit silly. Can't make me, game. Can't make me. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Yeah, I'll drive on the right side. Quite literally the right side. I like the music, though. This is kind of cool. Oh, of course, my fuel... Near halfway through the drive, I realised I was low on gas. It's fine. When the light comes on, you've got at least 20 miles. At least. That should be enough to get you to the next place. No, I'm not going to read the texts. Alright, Dad. Alright. Don't you know I'm driving? Hello, you weird man. <gasps> Gas station. Boom! Hit the thing by accident. Oh, I need to pull up a bit more. Oh going to be somebody in my trunk or something, isn't there, afterwards. I can just feel it. Let's buy a soda. Oh, can we, like... Ooh. A meat snack is new. Well, let's go for the meat snack, then. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> you can buy stuff from vending machines. Nice. Can I buy anything else? 
Oh, no, let's not drink and drive. That's silly. That's very irresponsible. Don't ever do it. What's this? <laughs> yeah, I have a fucking... Bo oh, he responded! Oh, oh, yep. Oh, no, I think that was just a reaction that he had. Oh, <laughs> I thought that... Oh, I thought that was so cool. I thought he responded. Fuck it. Get out of it. I'm going to get kicked out in a minute. All right, let's stop messing about. Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, one more time. One more time. <laughs> Ma'am, please stop that. I'm just showing you what I want. <laughs> you know what I'm doing, like, I'm doing it to you. Oh, I think it's just a repeat over and over again. Okay. All right. It's not creepy at all, is it? <laughs> All right, I need to stop. Oh, you're playing solitaire. Nice. Very good. Oh god, okay. Oh. What? I don't care. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. I'm not the only muse of toilet. You got pump too. Thanks. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a bit... Alright. I mean, I'm going to do it, but... Like... <laughs> yeah, I'm... I tried once picking her up and then... What the fuck was that? Excuse me, sir. You... Bastard, what did you do? Oh, actually, I've got loads of text messages of now. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Can you go get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. Drive safe. All right, yeah. Wait, so I did text them when I was driving. That's very irresponsible. Do I have to go back in and get dog food? All right, I'll, I'll go back in and get dog food, I guess. Where's your dog food? Do they have any dog food? Is this it? Oh, yes it is! Oh, I, I bought dog food! <laughs> I didn't think you could. Thanks! For good boys and girls! Pet, pet. Wow. <laughs> the names. Um, where do I put it? But just up, 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 up. Okay, that's good enough. That's in the boot, is it not? All right, maybe not then. 
Yeah, that's him. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! My car was parked a little too far at first. I know, I said that at the beginning. I said I need to pull up a bit more. I'm not surely why, but I went on without getting gas. What? I'm going back. I should have stopped by the gas station. I did! Do I have to pump it myself? Alright, well, I'll go back and pump it myself then. Oh god, I fucked this up massively. <laughs> Let's reverse all the way back. Right, okay. Let's get the fuel then. Right, okay. Right, that's a bit better, yeah. I. I, I didn't know you had to do that. Okay. I thought the person when it sort of like... Okay. You do... Wait. We are driving on this side of the road? Okay. Oh, yeah, not... Not answering the text messages. All right. Why did they go out? Why am I driving so slow as well? Come on, pick up the pace. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's what's. Somebody's obviously cut the power. The man in the van, wasn't it? A cheeky bastard. I would just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, there's speed bumps, I probably should have stopped. What's going on with the electric? Oh, come on! Like proper in the middle of nowhere. 
Oh, it's like going from like forest to a desert. Well, at least the car still works. <laughs> it's not the red electronics and stuff. All right, turn the radio off then. What was that? I feel like I've all entered like a different dimension. Oh, of course. Ah. I have a gun. What the fuck? Mother Hulk? That would be way heavier than it actually is. Alright, alright, who's there? That'll do, that'll do, I can get past. I did! If you can't get through that, you shouldn't be driving. Look, done! Of course, of course, of course! Why is my engine smoking? Great. Oh, God. Who opened it? Did I not? I got a flashlight. I still got the dog food. <laughs> Did I die? Oh, no, I just... Oh, okay, I just wait. <laughs> From where? <gasps> All right. Was I meant to stop it? Pure evil. I don't understand how somebody could just leave another human being stranded like that. Sometimes you're better off, love. Sometimes you're better off. Oh, another 20 minutes. If I stand in the way, <gasps> yeah, let me get my, I'm going to throw my suitcase at him. Yep, you can't get past. Oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. All right, let me go get my stuff. <laughs> right, I need my dog food. I'm gonna grab all my bags. 
skateboard! Yeah! Right, what do I need? So I need... <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my suitcase in the dog food. If nothing else. Nah, screw it. New dog food. Good boy. That's fine, because I kind of did some of it already. Can I pick up more than... Oh, I could throw it. I could pick up two things. Why didn't I... Oh. Yeah. Quick. Ah. Micah, I should really turn my headlights off. That's kind of going to waste the battery. Right. And now we're in. Oh, no. Have I missed something? <laughs> so chivalrous. <laughs> All right. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're that guy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Can I touch his stuff? Let's enjoy the car ride. Yes. Oh, oh God. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, come on, I just want a tea. No, it was the man in the van, yeah, I know. The woman doesn't, but I know. I know. Yeah. No, it was the man in the van. That's why we did just stop, walk away from my car, and then leave. Come on. Think, man. Think. Oh. Yeah, you and me both.
After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out here, he said ominously before leaving. It took us two hours. It took us two hours, or about an hour and a half, to get to this place. My word. Thank you! Wait, where's my stuff? Oh, it's all there. Oh, I did manage to get all my stuff. Nice. Okay! Hi. The man was putting out the creepiest vibe imaginable. Alright, well that's just mean. You just walked in. Y'all need a room to shack up for the night. Forty for single. Pay cash only. Alright. I guess that's for tax reasons. Room number nine, right over there. Ah, I got room number nine key. Ninety dollars. I'm going to take care of it next thing in the morning. Alright, alright, okay. Thanks. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I wasn't planning on it. But now you mention it. I, can I pick up? Alright. Oh! We can buy more! Bubbles. Cat what? Oh. Yeah, let's go for a cola bottle. Why not? Not the sweet, but the actual... This gives me energy. Didn't want it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. okay. Right, so one. So then that means that. Bloody hell! Fucking you saying. Oh, Jesus! Meow. It's nice and warm and Why the fuck? <laughs> no! Where's the mattress? <laughs> You've given me a room without a mattress. Is it in here? What? Why is there no- <laughs> oh! Fucking Jesus! I- oh! Yeah, you literally did! <sighs> That's fucking creepy, dude. Why? Oh, God, at least have that door open so I know you're in there. Oh my god. Do I have to go back to the front desk? <laughs> right, let's speak to the guy again. Let's see what he has to say. I know it is. Do I have to pick it up? I only had two hands. Right. Oh my god! Speedy Gonzalez! Here, take my shit. Ooh! Maybe if I grab that and grab a soda and then I can be like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. But with not quite so cool sound effect. Alright, let's just buy another cola. I ain't gonna sleep tonight. Too much sugar.
watch him fucking fly, watch. Look at him go! Yeah. And the 100 meter winner is... Um, don't know her name. Ma'am! <laughs> Could they not, like, be a gentleman and grab my stuff? Guarantee he'll probably be like, yeah, do you want me to grab your stuff? Be over in just a second. And I'm like, too late. I've already done it, mate. I've already done it. Thanks, buddy old pal. Take my shit again. I had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with those people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Okay. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. Why has he got a weird smile? It's creepy. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't had... Alright. Bye now! Oi! Close your door on the way out then. What's this? I didn't need it. Why would you just take random tablets anyway? <gasps> What's on? Yeah! Oh, quality! I'll take it. Is it one of those you can sneak again? What the fuck was that? Close the blinds fully! Like, twist them! Do that! What was that? No, it won't. It's midnight. Go to fucking bed. Oh god, do I have to go out? <laughs> Nope. Surely I should have the facilities in here. What? What's the bathroom sink? Really? Alright. Let's go grab a coffee, I guess. Oh, he did say it didn't work. Why? All right, all right. If that van's here. Whoa. Hey, dude. Creepy man. Hey, excuse me. Right over there, room number nine it is. All right. Where's this coffee then? Onion ring. Oh, oh the crisp, yeah. How do I get a coffee from then? Do I need a coffee? Don't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay awake. All right, where's the coffee then?
Where's the coffee? That's kind of creepy. Oh, it's free. All right, what happened? Oh, everything is inverted. Oh my god. Should we go to the front desk? Yeah, let's go to the front desk and tell the man We've been drugged! Excuse me. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Maybe it's the guy at the front desk that was in the van as well. That's not good. That is not good. I can't even read the messages. Great. I can't even text back and will I help? Oh my days. Wow, this is scary. And it's... By the sounds of it, it's actually a real story. That's even worse. The fact that people actually went through these stories. Oh my god. I was sedated. Yeah, no shit. Phone's not fucking working. Was that a cat purring? Oh, do I? Oh, uh... Yeah, that took me a bit surprised, but... Yeah. Oh. We are back at the same position of being sedated. I'm not gonna go into that wardrobe. I don't even know why. I just curiosity got the better of me and I had to go and have a look. But yeah, as you can see, there was a, clearly a person who went in there. Why would I think there would not be? Maybe like a secret tunnel or something, but <laughs> that's what there was. That was very nice and neat, thank you. So no, that's just weird. What? What do you want me to do then? It's a toilet? What was that? Do I just go back to bed? Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. All right. Never ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild mannered newspaper reporter.
No. Doing. Did he close my door? All right, this is creepy. This is really creepy. Well, somebody's just opened my door. I saw that. Well, it was right here. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. Don't offer people random medication. What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, oh my god. Yeah, just take some random unchecked medication. Sure. Nothing bad can happen. Oh god. I want to go explore and see where he went, but. I. No. No. Well, he's not in there anymore. Lois, what are you doing here? Now, if anyone's gonna like get drugged, it's now me. Again. Requires water. Well, there's a sink here. Knock, knock, knock. What medication is it? Didn't even tell you. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Now what? Do we go to bed? Yeah. All right. What do we do now? Sleep. All right, turn the TV off and then go to sleep, I suppose. And the lamp's off. What do you want me to do? I don't feel safe. What the fuck? Don't shrimp. Oh! Hello? Oh! Hi? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open it up. No. No. I've just been speaking to you, of course. No, no, no. Oh, God. Do I have to hide? What's this? <gasps> Is that respond? I'm not in. Oh god, yeah. That's Oh.
not in. Do I have to go to the door? It's going to be like the other one, isn't it? I have to do something for it to activate. What? Oh, I just need to speak to him. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered, inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of this situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Yeah! I do not blame you. That is messed up. Oh my god. The fact that that actually happened to somebody is even worse. Oh. So there you have it. That was the second Fears to Fathom. My God, these stories, they are so terrifying, but yet they are so good because they go into so much detail and depth. Like if this actually happened to somebody, which by the writing and the t storytelling actually sounds like it was, that is just terrifying. Like that these people went through this. So I'm sorry for you guys. It was a good game nonetheless. I can't wait for the number three to see what that's about. They keep you on edge. It's, yeah. <laughs> wow. Just, just wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And as always, drink tea, enjoy life, and have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.